Monday, October 5th, morning headlines time. It's been a real effort to increase the number of teachers of color in Minnesota. Frequently, a black child will have mostly white teachers. And with school budgets expected to be tight post-COVID, there is fear that progress on this front could be lost. Anthony Lone Tree with the front page story in the Star Tribune. 34% of Minnesota K-12 through teachers are non-white. Teachers of color make up just 5% of overall teachers. Now layoffs are almost always done last in first out. Look at Minnesota's teacher of the year before she got that award. Korsho Hassan was a finalist and she was laid off last spring from her job. There is change on this front in Robbinsdale. The schools and union negotiated language that allows new teachers to be retained if they better reflect students being served. This next story might be good information for people going to work at the White House today. USA Today asking, what can I do to ensure a safe workplace? What if your boss won't wear a mask? Do you confront? What do you do? OSHA does require employers to provide a safe workplace, but what does that mean in reality? In Minnesota and Wisconsin, there are mask mandates, so there are some state regulations on this. HR experts and attorneys recommend bringing your concerns directly to your manager. If you're nervous about that, go to HR because employee, employers aren't legally allowed to retaliate when you do that. If your concerns are not being addressed, you could consider filing a complaint with the local health department or with OSHA. Cool story on a new playground that is surrounded in one of the Twin Cities uh, most under the radar and underrated family destinations. Frederick Mello with the story of a $350,000 fully remodeled city playground at St. Paul's Western Sculpture Park. So this is just north of 94, not too far from the Capitol building. Nine new children's structures and play areas. They got a big climbing dome out there, benches, bike parking, uh, sculptures. Nonprofit group Public Art St. Paul maintains a lot of the sculptures in the park. The city collaborates, help pay for the playground, along with help from Target and the National Park Association. I really like this story inside the New York Times Smarter Living section about empathy. They ask five people who've spent their lives studying and practicing empathy how we all can do better. So you probably know Brene Brown. Her tip here, ask yourself, have you experienced grief, despair, hopelessness, love, joy? Empathy is not about sharing an event in common. It's about understanding a shared emotion. And then Caramo uh, Brown is on uh, Queer Eye, and he said he uh, speaks the, le the least on that show because he's always uh, what they call empathetically listening. So the way that works is you clear your mind of biases and then just really listen to what someone's telling you. Lots of good ideas in the smarter living section. Riley, mm -hmm. the takeaway for me after reading through this is that you can get better yeah. at empathy. It's something you can practice and work at and improve. Uh, and I think we all could kind of use a dose of that, you know? No, definitely. I feel like, you know, it's one of those things that, you, you know, you kind of work on every day. I mean, there's many things that we can work on for every day, sure. but this is definitely one of them. For yeah, sure. yeah. It's not an innate thing. I think people think, oh, he's empathetic or she is. No, we all can be. You just have to, you do have to, you know, dedicate yourself to right. it. Right, exactly. Yeah.